Hi, I'm John Griffith, and you are watching Talking About, and I have a very special return guest, Mr. Paul Case. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So, And you've got something pretty special going on. You are a comedian, and you do uh, performances and shows throughout, <coughs> throughout the tri-state area and nationally and globally soon. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> So, uh, Miss Faghag is the current project. Miss Faghag is the current project. It's um, a benefit for the Hedrick Martin Institute, okay. which is the home of the Harvey Milk High School. Okay. So, which is a high school for GLBT questioning. Correct. Youth. It's um, a safe haven, basically, for kids who have felt unsafe in the high schools that they've been in previously, or have left high school, they can come back, or you know, a lot of a lot of GLBT youth are kicked out of their homes and they don't have anywhere to go. So. Uh, Harvey Milk gives them a safe school to go to, and then they also have outreach programs with pregnancy, STD, okay. HIV testing. They provide uh, uh, homeless uh, outreach services and okay. meals for kids that don't have access to that so as well. So basically a whole lot of good stuff that requires some some. So it requires funding. some money, right, <laughs> yeah. that they don't get enough of. So um, Sean Hollenbach came up with this great idea to have this pageant to celebrate the unsung heroes of the gay community okay. who are the, uh, the fag hags, yes. your, be your best gal <laughs> pal. So we've uh, narrowed it down to 10 girls that are going to be competing on Sunday, May 17th at Comics, um, which is at 353 West 14th Street in New York at 8 o'clock. Okay, well, be before we bring them on, um, just for, for the audience members who don't know, can you just define fag hag? A fag hag Because is, it's not as derogatory as Well, it no, it's not, and that's the thing. I, I will say this. When we were doing uh, outreach advertising, a lot of people took one look and said, oh, no, we can't <laughs> do this because, you know, it's going to offend people. But uh, basically, a fag hag is not a derogatory term. It is uh, a word that the gay community, I think, has taken onto themselves to stand for, you know, your best girlfriend. As, as a gay man, I mm -hmm. think most gay men go through a stage where they've got this girl that they can lean on and is their support and their, you know, their shoulder to cry on and their, their sister of sorts. Okay. So that's what the fag hag is. Okay, and um, we're going we're gonna to meet Sean right now and he's going to bring on some of the contestants. Yeah. So come on in, Sean. Why, hello, Paul and Jonathan. <laughs> Ladies, actually I'll call you up uh, individually and then you guys can tell me a little bit about yourselves and tell... Tell our Queens audience a little bit about yourself, Queens and Queens. First, we're going to bring up uh, Miss West Village. If you want to come on up, a little play on music. Hi. I didn't mention that either. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, uh, tell us your name. Heather Shields. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And what is your favorite karaoke song? Well, it's tough, but I'm going to have to go with the one I sing with my gay the most, and that would be Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. And your gay <laughs> couldn't be w with you tonight. Why is that? Well, uh, JC insisted on replacing him for this evening. Um, <laughs> but no, Stephen has to work, unfortunately, because someone has to pay for the booze. Exactly. <laughs> A good gay pays for his hag's drinks, is right, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Miss West Village. Can I please have Miss Long Island come on up? I didn't mention that either. The girls are representing different neighborhoods throughout okay. the city, but right. they're gay right. Hello, Miss Long Island. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hope Langen. I'm Miss Long Island. And uh, what's your ideal Friday night? My ideal Friday night would be coming into the city with Chris, my gay, <laughs> and we would probably hit a show, which we'd sneak into after intermission because we're both cash poor. <laughs> and uh, then we'd hit the karaoke bars and win enough money and contests to go do it again the next night. Well, why don't we bring, why don't we bring Chris over here, your spot? Sponsor gay, and put the hat on, please. Bring it along. <laughs> right. You can't. You need the hat. I need the hat. So, Chris is, a pirate. <laughs> Chris is a professional pirate, as you can see. It's true. And what, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Chris Leidenfrost Wilson, and I'm Jen's uh, sponsoring homo. There <laughs> we are. And actually, ladies and gentlemen who are going to go see the show, the men will be presented in a swimsuit by their hags. So it's very exciting. Oh my. So thank you very much. Right, I, just, I, just, I just need you to say your your crown again. Miss oh, I'm Miss Long Island. Oh, okay. Miss Long Island. That's what I was looking for. Miss Long Island. <laughs> Miss Long Island. And you out there from Queens, you can vote for your favorite girl, too. There is a wild card vote. Miss Long Island is very close to Queens. <laughs> it's very true. I do have a map. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And can we bring our last, our last contestant here? And this is Miss Astoria, who's also a Queens resident. Hi. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Tammy Dalton, and I'm Miss Astoria. <laughs> Fantastic. And could you please fill in this uh, sentence? No more wire blank. 
hang us. Exactly. <laughs> See, they know. They know. And uh, also, tell us a little bit why you should be Miss Fag Hag. Because I am Miss Fag Hag. <laughs> um, Obviously. Well, I don't know. I've just always had an affinity for gay men, or they have one for me. And I don't know. One day, I will be a gay icon. She will. And she actually, her lips are over the rainbow right now. They are red and sparkly. And we should, we should bring your gay on. So, Mr. Astoria, Sean, <laughs> could you please introduce your full name? Hi, I'm Sean Rice. Fantastic. Now, look at this guy right here. I think you're representing our bear community. Is that, am I right? That's correct. <laughs> oh, rare. <laughs> rare. Fantastic. And um, are you very excited? Are you, when you sponsored her, were you very excited to find out? Oh, I was so excited. I called her up when I saw the, the posting for it. And I said, you have to do this. You have to do this. <laughs> I sent her the link, and she called me back laughing. And she said, I, I put up my name. <laughs> that is super. And I you know you do a little bit of Liza. Could you do a little bit for us? <laughs> um, what good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I know they're clapping at home. I know they're clapping at home. So thank you guys so much, and I guess I, my segment's done. And thank you so much, Queens. Come yeah. out to comics on Sunday at 8 p.m. Uh, and it's 353 West 14th Street, just east of 9th Avenue. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually, it's a charity event. It is a charity event. Um, the tickets are $20 in advance, $25 the day of the show. Okay. Um, and I need to throw in, there's a two item minimum, but item can mean french fries or a bottle of water or whatever you like. Okay. So, so that's great. Um, just as far as putting together an, an event like this, mm -hmm. what, what, what goes into the planning of, of getting everything together, getting the advertisers and then putting it all together? Uh, a lot of time, <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, basically, what we did was we submitted ads in backstage in different papers, mm -hmm. and we wanted the gay men to nominate their girl. We wanted okay. it to be something that was uh, very much a team effort. So they did that, and that was one of the requirements. They had interviews, and that set the stage for who we were going to have as the ten contestants. And then. The rest we went about just calling in connections and contacting people and I think when people know that it's a benefit they're much more generous and you know we've had a lot of really really great prizes donated. Um, Sean and I have tuxes that have been donated by okay. Abe's formal wear which is extremely generous. So the community has been really supportive. Yeah and not even just the LGBT community just the community at large we've mm -hmm. had extremely generous donations so. Okay yeah. so, so again May 17th. Yes. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Comics. comics. Uh, you can get tickets at comicsny.com, C-O-M-I-X-N-Y.com. Or you can go day of if you, if you are willing to take that chance. Okay. Um, benefiting Hetrick Martin Institute. Benefiting Hetrick Martin Institute. Harvey Milk School. Harvey Milk School. And there's celebrity judges, celebrity performances. Um, and then the four, I'll mention the four categories if I can quickly. Sure, absolutely. There's going to be a, an evening wear introduction where the girls will wear what they would wear out on a night on the town, and there's a choreographed dance number that they'll be doing. Okay. After that, we move <laughs> into uh, presenting your gay in a swimsuit. Who, who's doing the choreography? The choreography is done by our director, Adolfo Blair, and okay. he's done an incredible job with very little rehearsal time with these girls who are amazing and mm. really, really stepped it up a lot, uh, and they're going to be incredible. Um, so they present their gay in the swimsuit, there's a talent portion, and then there is a Q&A afterward. And there is um, an audience wildcard vote. So the more, the more people that come out, you get a vote, and you can help your, your gayborhood girl win. OK. So, so the, um, the, the response has been terrific. I'm it's sure it, it's More than be, I could have ever thought it would have been, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a packed house, going to become an annual event? Yeah, that's the plan. It's the, <laughs> we've already built it as the first annual, so we're doing the secret and putting it out there. Okay, so that's great. And I just want to invite everybody back in once more time. One sure. more time. Just take another little little strut out here and uh, just uh, <laughs> so Sean. So uh, back on. Well, back this, on. Is, this is Sean's vision too, so yes. I have to give yeah, him I don't congratulations. Want to, uh, exactly, credit where credit is due, and yeah, it, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. And uh, thank you very much. Just as individuals, also, where can people find more about the two of you? You can go to seanhollenbach.com <laughs> or you can go to paulcase.com. 
Okay. Or MissFaghag.com. Or MTFreshComedy.com. <laughs> or MTFreshComedy.com. Or, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> okay, so everybody just kind of come on in here. going to get up here. Everybody just kind of gather around, and I, would, I just want to thank each and every one of you so much for being here. I am John Griffith, and this has been all about the Miss Faghag contest, Sunday, May 17th, and uh, this Sunday, May 17th? This coming yeah. Sunday, yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, right after AIDS Walk. Yeah, just so head, come head down and enjoy yourself and relax. Exactly. So.